Hello everyone, uh, King Dead here with a prediction of some things that we can see during the Sony presentation that is happening today, if you guys are watching this video today. It's actually going to be happening in less than three hours, if everything goes according to plan. I just want to make sure, pull out my list here of the stuff that I want to see happening. There we go. So yeah, it's happening tomorrow, or today, excuse me, at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, um, 9, 9 p.m. BST, and 1 p.m. PDD, uh, Pacific Standard Time, or whatever. Point is, there's a lot of stuff going on, and I think this is going to be roughly like a 40, 45, 50 minute, maybe to an hour presentation, and I can't wait. This actually has me very excited. This is kind of like what they would have shown at E3, if they were at E3, is my guess. So, there's probably going to be a lot of first party stuff. Uh, one of them being is probably they're going to talk about Horizon Forbidden West. After that, it's kind of like the little debacle that they had with the whole, oh, if you get the PS4 version physically, but if you get a PS5 at some point, you'll have to buy the PS5 version again at full price. Uh, but now they're like, okay, you'll get it. Then they kind of mentioned, like, okay, you know, we said that it, this was originally going to come out in the release window. Now we got pushed back, so we're going to, uh, we're going to, ah, uh, damn it, I got tea all over my calendar here. We're going to honor that promise of being like, okay, so if you get the PS4 version, you'll update it for free for the PlayStation 5 version. So good on them for that, doing that. So they'll probably get like a final trailer, maybe some gameplay going on with that. Another one I feel like is, this is probably going to be the last thing they show in all honesty, is God of War, uh, Ragnarok. They'll probably show, like, maybe, I don't know if they'll, they might give it a release date, because I guess that game was supposed to come out this year, and it didn't. Uh, so, uh, they, they might give a re new release year, I, or a date. But I, I have a feeling that game's actually going to be coming out in April, maybe May. This is my guess. Because you, you have February coming out with Horizon. You do not want to like really give it much of a like, you don't want to be like, oh, Horizon's coming out in uh, February, I think like 22nd or something like that. You don't want to have God of War come out any time in March. I feel like that's not, not bad. Horizon Zero Dawn, which is a game I've been streaming, almost done. That game is not a long game to beat. So it's not like a whole like, oh. But I see like a lot of people like me, I like to do all the side stuff. The majority of it. So... And plus, who knows how much bigger Forbidden West is going to be compared to the first one. So I feel like they don't want to be have it too close together. So I can definitely see God of War coming out like at least a month after. So like I said, uh, April at the earliest of that. Um, so yeah, there's probably going to be some other stuff too. They'll probably give like a PlayStation 5 update version for Last of Us 2. Maybe Last of Us Remastered, I don't know. We'll probably get a few of stuff like that, of like, hey, uh, you'll get an update version of, if you have a PS4 version, pay $10 and get the get the update version. Kind of like what they've been doing with Ghost of Tsushima, or whatever, however that price was. I can't remember exactly what the price is. Like, I think it was like, oh, if you want to get, if you have the PS4 version and you want to get to the PS5 version, it costs like... 30 bucks, but that's also because it can include the new DLC, which I think that alone is 20 or something like that. So that makes sense. That that makes sense. Although I'm still not a big fan of the whole like, hey, I have the PS4 version of this game, can I get an update free? That's basically what you did with, with Final Fantasy 7. It's like, hey, the update is free, but it costs $10 for the DLC or $20 or how much it was. I can't remember. I think it was like $20. Uh, either way. It's like, okay, I kind of get that, but it's like that, but the DLC for that was only playable on the PS5 version, but the DLC, uh, the Island of Iska, I, I can't remember exactly what the DLC for Ghost of Tsushima was. Uh, I think that's also playable on PlayStation 4 version of the game, so that's something I need to check out too at some point. Maybe I will, maybe I'll stream that like I did the, the series at some point. Um, so I could definitely see a lot of games, like I said, Last of Us 2, um, no other games really pop out in my brain. Be like, oh, this game will get a, a free update. Um, who knows, maybe they'll do it for the regular Crash series. I know they did it for Crash 4, uh, so maybe they'll do it for the Crash series, maybe Spyro, who knows. Speaking of Spyro, I would, I would love that they had introduced a new Spyro game. 
You know, honestly, it doesn't even have to be a music. But I know that's really, that's really far out there, especially now that Toys for Bob is now, unfortunately, eaten by Activision slash Blizzard to make Call of Duty only. Because fuck everything else. Call of Duty is our real money maker. It's not half the bullshit they went through now. But people are still gonna buy it, so doesn't matter. Not really. Uh, what else? Um, Forspoken. I could definitely see Forspoken being shown because I have a feeling like that. That's like that's a lot of stuff. Like Forspoken, we haven't even we didn't see that at the or anything. So it's been a while since we saw Forspoken. So I'd love to like see uh, some Forspoken stuff because I think that game might be coming out even sooner than we expect. Some things that may not happen, but I would like to happen. Um, yeah, they'll probably they'll probably show Lost Judgment as well, even though that game's coming out later this month. They'll probably still show it. And I swear to God, I know I think Death Loop is coming out next month. I swear to God, if they show Death Loop, I'd be like, motherfucker! Every time, like I think the first time I saw the game, I was like, oh, that game's good. That looks that game looks cool. I might check it out. But every single time they showed it afterwards, I'm like, I don't want to play this game anymore. I have no interest in it anymore. So I feel like they should just stop showing Death Loop, please. Just showing like the one or two times, and then it should have been fine. Like, or I think it's because they showed it way too often. And like every single event, it's like, oh, there's Death Loop, there's Death Loop. So it's like, it didn't really feel like, oh, like, oh, like why is it taking so long for this to come out type thing? But either way, they probably will show Death Death Loop. So it's like, oh boy, can't can't wait for that. Now, there are a few things that I was like, this probably won't happen, but it'd be cool if they did. Final Fantasy 16. Uh, we haven't seen anything of that since I believe it's initial announcement uh, late last year. So it's been a while since we've seen anything in 16, and uh, Yoshi P, the director of that, is saying it's actually progressing as, as uh, according to plan. And I know with Endwalk coming out in November, they, they might even have a trailer for Endwalker too, even though I see that be more so during the Square Enix presentation for TGS on October 1st. So I can definitely see that be more so where they would show the Endwalker trailer. Uh, maybe, maybe what they'll do is like, hey, here's a teaser trailer for the final trailer, and then on uh, October 1st they show the full trailer for Endwalker, which they probably, they, that might happen, because we know Endwalker is both PC and PlayStation, so be a nice little teaser. Uh, speaking of Final Fantasy, they might show uh, Strangers in Paradise more so on Final Fantasy Origin for that, uh, which honestly they might, and maybe they'll include like, hey, here's another extended demo for people to play, and maybe they'll give it a demo for other people besides PlayStation 5 users, which it would be nice, because they never did that with Resident Evil 8, which was weird. So yeah. Uh, speaking of Resident Evil 8, do I think this show DLC? I don't think so, considering in uh, at E3 in June they were like, "Oh, hey, devel development for uh, DLC is now underway." So I don't know. I don't think they're that far into development for DLC to show anything. They might be, but I, I highly doubt that. Uh, so yeah, that's that's kind of stuff that like I would love to see 16 to show up because I I can't wait for Final Fantasy 16. But like I said, I think Square Enix. Even though it's progressing as smoothly as they as it is, as they want, it's going as they want it to be. I think their fo focus with Final Fantasy is more in line with Endwalker for now. And then once Endwalker is done, they're like, okay, now we can go full steam ahead with PR for 16, which will be great because I think that's like Jump Festa is probably when they'll definitely show off more uh, 16. But like I said, they probably will show something. Maybe they're like, hey, like I did with the Endwalker, and maybe they'll do a 16 too. It's like, hey. Here's a little teaser, catch the full trailer on October 1st. Now, that would be a little bit of a cheap shot, uh, Jip feels a little cheated, but I, I think that'd be fine. Uh, might as well, since I'm talking about Square Enix, I I don't know, I, I, I would maybe something Kingdom Hearts related could show up. Uh, will it? Who knows? Uh, maybe they are, like I said, uh, went back to, hey, Here's a PS5 version of Last of Us. If you already own Last of Us 2, you can get this update for free. Maybe they do something like that with Kingdom Hearts. That would be nice. That would be lovely. Like, hey, basically do what they did with Final Fantasy VII Remake. Here's a free update. And then, like, maybe there's a... I highly doubt they'll do it. But, like, here's another DLC or something uh, for it. But that can only be played on the PlayStation 5. But who knows about that stuff? Um, 
That'd be nice. That would be nice. Or maybe a teaser about you know, the 20th anniversary, because the 20th anniversary of Kingdom Hearts is coming next year. March, technically, is the 20th anniversary of Kingdom Hearts, uh, when the first game came out in Japan. Um, I, I'll be honest, if we don't see anything Kingdom Hearts related in, in the presentation tomorrow, that's fine, or today, that's fine. Uh, we may see something at the Tokyo, at the TGS presentation that Square has. I think that's a 50 minute thing. We may see something there. If not, that's totally fine too. I'm honestly, I think Jump Festa is the place we, we, where we would for sure see something Kingdom Hearts. If we don't see something Kingdom Hearts related before, like even a tiny teaser, be like, hey, 20th anniversary, we have something special planned uh, on these days. That's fine, that's all I need. But we have to get something, something soon about Kingdom Hearts being at the 20th anniversary next year uh, in March. So that's that. Uh, that's all the Square stuff. Um, Trying to think what else. I guess speaking of Square, Avengers, um, they might show Spider-Man finally, because I just saw on Twitter today, like, hey, here's some upcoming stuff for fall and winter, and they finally showed like, hey, at some point Spider-Man's coming out, uh, only PlayStation, so they might show that off. I know Black Panther literally just came out like uh, two weeks ago or something like that, so. So who knows, but it'd be nice, because I'll be honest, Probably whatever they do with Spider-Man, that'll probably be the end of me playing Avengers on the ser on the uh, YouTube channel. I'll probably just go back into it and try to get the trophies, and then I'll be done with that game forever. Because as much as I love the story of that game, everything else about it was just like ugh. Uh, there's a Babylon's Fall, right? That's a that's a um, that's a PlayStation game, I believe. So they'll probably might show something about that. I kind of forgot about that until I just oh yeah, I remember Babylon's Fall is basically kind of from how we saw it in at E3 is basically going in the same direction that uh, Avengers is going in now so they might show something about Babylon's Fall I already mentioned Forspoken uh, Forspoken's there uh, let's go let's go back into some more first party games um, like I said I would love a new Spiral game but that's definitely gonna be that's a tough one that's a tough one like I said especially with Toys for Bob now be like oh yeah you're only focusing on Call of Duty now fucking everything else just give Give Spyro and Crash to someone else then. If you're not gonna bother making it, just give it to someone else. Fucking Activision. Uh, Toys for Bob, you were supposed to lead us into the glory days of Crash and Spyro, but now, yeah. If we see something Spyro and Crash related, that'd be great. That'd be awesome. It doesn't even have to be a new Spyro game. I I've said this before. If they want, if they like remade. Uh, Enter the Dragonfly and even the Hero's Tale and maybe Shadow Legacy all in like a collection of its own. I'd be happy with that. Or even the the Legend of Spyro uh, uh, trilogy. I'd be happy with that too. They remastered those. I, I'd be all for that. I'd be like, oh yeah, remastered, remaked. I'd be I'd be all for that. Because uh, I also I, I don't care what anyone says. And Enter the Dragonfly had problems. It had major problems. But I still enjoy that game. It's definitely a uh, uh, a guilty pleasure of mine playing that game. It's basically like Sonic 06 is for me too. Um, and the Hero's Tale wasn't that bad, but uh, they could definitely fix some of that stuff. And Shadow Legacy 2 should could be fixed. And I freaking love The Legend of Spyro. Like, that, that, was, that was a great series. I don't care what anyone says. Those were good games. So yeah. Um, and... Still kind of going back on those early day mascots. I would love if we had maybe a new Jack and Daxter game. If there's a new Jack and Daxter game, that's definitely the last thing they'll show. If there's a new Sly Cooper game, that'll definitely be the last thing they show too. I would love a Jack and Daxter. I love a Sly Cooper. Jack and Daxter, like, even though I love Ratchet and Clank, don't get me wrong, but I started off with Jack and Daxter, and I freaking love Jack and Daxter. So I would love a new Jack and Daxter game, because those games are fun. Um, yeah, or just like, I don't know, like even just, I'm just thinking about like all places, what are some PlayStation 4 games that they could just get free updates for PlayStation 5 versions, like, oh hey, here's this, here's that, here's this, here's that. Could we also, now this one, uh, this one is also way, way, way out there. If you guys remember, uh, a few days ago, or a few weeks ago, I made a video about the anniversary of Persona happening this month in September. Could we see one of the announcements for one of those projects of Persona happen during that? 
that's a possibility. That is a that is a strong possibility that like, hey, here's a remake of Persona 1 coming out sometime. Here's our announcement one of that. And we'll have more announcements of that during TGS or something. I don't know. I think the official anniversary for Persona is September 22nd or something like that. It's, a, it's in the 20s. So, maybe. But who knows? I Like, that's just a big guess for me. It's like, hey, Persona, I mean, Persona did get its start on the PlayStation. And until recently, uh, the Persona series... The Persona Mainline series, like Persona 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, have only been on PlayStation until recently. And then, of course, you know, they now ported Persona 4 to Steam. Who knows, maybe we'll get one of the Persona announcements at um, at this showcase thing. And that's another thing, too. This is a showcase. It's not the state of play like PlayStation has always been having. So that's why I feel like this has to be showing off a lot. And maybe, and of course, there'll probably be new games as well. Um, Ghostwire, Ghost Tripwire, I think that's what it's called, I can't remember, like, remember a spunky girl that, like, showed up on stage in 2019, uh, announced that game, was that 2019? I can't remember, but there was, like, you know, remember there was some spunky girl who, like, everyone just fell in love with, it, who announced that game, uh, they could show more of that, I, is that game even coming out this year, or has it, does it have a release date? I can't remember, but yeah, I think it's, like, called Ghostwire, or Tokyo, something like that. Ghostwire Tokyo, something along those lines. So they could show that as well. But yeah, guys, uh, just let me know what do you guys think we could see at this showcase happening in less than three hours now. Uh, there's so many possibilities, and I cannot wait. Like I said, I think the for sure things we'll see is uh, Forbidden West and God of War. And oh my god, I completely forgot. Spider Man. Spy like maybe they'll have a Spider Man 2 Insomniac. Insomniac Spider Man 2 announcement or something along those lines. I, I feel like that'll be like that'll be super strong. Like you have you, PlayStation would be knocking it out of the park next year just with those three titles alone, with Horizon, God of War, and Spider-Man. Like boom, boom, boom. That's a triple threat right there. If all three of those games come out next year, I don't. Spider-Man, I feel like it's probably the least likely to come out next year because that's the one thing that hasn't been announced. So who knows? But if that does come out next year. Ooh, fantastic. Because I freaking loved that Spider-Man game. I freaking loved Miles Morales. Fantastic games. I can't believe I forgot about that. I was like, like before I started recording this video, I was like, oh, I got it. It's just Spider-Man at some point. <sighs> Completely forgot. But yeah, guys, uh, like I said, I think I think for sure we'll see Horizon and God of War for sure. Maybe something for Spoken. Probably something about Deathloop because of course we will. Hopefully it's just not too long. Hopefully it's like a five-minute thing. Now that I think about it, we'll probably see something about Guardians of the Galaxy as well. That's coming out in October. They'll probably show that along with Avengers stuff. Um, I'm just trying to think. And of course, like I said, they'll probably be games like, hey, but I'm pretty sure they will announce at least Last of Us 2 will I get a PS5 update. I'm sure they will. Um, and of course, the ones that are like least likely to happen, Final Fantasy stuff. Uh, I'd say if anything Final Fantasy related, it probably will be Strangers in Paradise and maybe a teaser for Endwalker, but with the full final trailer happening in October. I would love to see something 16 related. Uh, I would love Jack and Daxter. I would love a Sly Cooper. Anything along those lines would be great. A Spiral related, of course, would be my big one. Like Spiral was my childhood, and then I got the Jack and Daxter, so like that was great. Um, and then yeah, uh, Persona. I think I think the big thing that could they could show would be Persona in some shape or form. Be like, hey, here's our first announcement of Persona uh, anniversary. Ha! Uh, remake of the first game or something along those lines. Who knows? Even a remake of three, I would be like, mm. I'm just happy. But I don't know. Whatever they announce, uh, I'm excited for it. And unfortunately, I won't be able to watch this live stream. Uh, with you guys, uh, but since I it literally starts when I have to be at work, so but I will be watching that uh, on my phone when I'm at work because I can do that. Uh, so I'll be watching it, and of course I'll be reacting as much as I can, and then of course I'll probably make another video talking about like all the cool things to look forward to. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you guys are looking forward to with this presentation, and uh, let me know if you guys will be watching it uh, live. So yeah, so thank you all for watching this, and I'll see you guys next time.